Welcome back, everybody, for some more Jared and Jensen. Um, this is another request from Melissa. Uh, we really want to thank the um, Supernatural community. Okay, yeah. they're they've been extremely supportive of us. Very good and at kind. Uh, avoiding. Yep, avoiding the spoilers, um, and mm -hmm. just fun to hang out with. I think that's the gist of. of oh my goodness! Sorry. That's great. 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 I get to edit That's that. Great awesome. Content. That's great. Yeah, you're going to get edit this anyways. Oh, wait. This one you will. Sorry. If it's supernatural, we don't edit it. If you want to join us on our supernatural journey, it's all yes. on Patreon. You, you'll see the occasional clip come out uh, once in a while. We're not doing the entire series edited. That would cost us a bajillion dollars. Time and money um, we don't have. If we had the yeah. money, we'd pay someone to do it. Or if we had enough people. Quite frankly, as good as the supernatural community is to us, like they're being very kind to us. We have a fraction of the amount that other channels get. Other channels will get twenty five to seventy five thousand views per video yeah. on their supernatural review clips. If we were yeah. garnering that kind of views, we we get like three hundred. Like not yeah, thousand. Exactly. Three three hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. You need you need that like seventy five thousand seventy five thousand worth it. Yeah. yeah. Uh just in terms of ad revenue to cover the costs. We're yeah. not getting that. No. So, so Melissa says about this one, this is another con clip. Um, hope you enjoy it. I promise there isn't any spoilers. The question was, if their wives were here, what bad habits would they say that the guys have? <laughs> oh, before we get their answer, Nate, do you want to just quickly give your answer? Do you have a bad habit that your wife would say you do? What's yours? Oh, I spend money. Pick one. Yeah, the, that's the top of the list is I'm a horrible, uh, horrible with money. Awful with money. <laughs> Uh oh, no. well, that's a <laughs> yeah, that's a bad habit. It's a really bad. Habit. Uh, what's uh, what's a habit that I do? A habit that I do that annoys. Is, was it this the question that annoys your spouse? Was it uh, a, the question was? Um, sorry, exact. What yeah. would they? What what bad habits would your wife say that you have? Your wife's not here, but if your wife is standing there, what would she say your bad habit? We should bring your wife in just to say something. Yeah, to see if she can. Uh, well, I told you earlier, she's not feeling too well right now, so mm. she might not be up to be in front of the camera right now. But okay. Okay. Um, I would say, I mean, this is silly. It's just, I was just doing it, but it drives her up the wall when I say words incorrectly. <laughs> so it's a, uh, it's a bad habit I have. And it's, uh, the habit's a weird word because what do, I, what do I do all the time that drives her crazy? I would have to ask, you know what? I'm going to send her a message because I actually don't know what she would say. I, I would say saying words incorrectly. And, um, oh, m and mixing laundry. Oh, really? Like, uh, yeah, I'll put like towels in with clothes and like just she likes to keep things. Towels are together, clothes, like she doesn't like the like her t shirts mixed with the kitchen towels, for example. They stuff they oh, used up chicken oil. I was gonna say, like, lights oil. and dark, lights and darks. You don't mix those together. That's just well, I'm pretty good about that. We don't have a lot of just like we don't have like just white shirts. Nobody ever wears just right. white around the house, but. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. With that going, uh, I'll send her a message. I'll see what she says. I'm, I'm kind of curious, actually, because <laughs> what she'll say about me. Okay. Without further ado, though, the people aren't here to see us, Nathan. They're here to see, of course, yeah. these two handsome men, Jared and Jensen. So let's go. Let's see what they're like here. Let's right. See what their answers are. I know one. This is there are many. Uh, the one that comes to mind, and this is only something that that she would really know because I don't really get ready for bed around anybody else. <laughs> um, but when I'm in the bathroom and I'm like, you know, brushing my teeth and getting ready for bed, I, I don't know why, but I tend to do everything very mechanical and loudly. <laughs> so it's, it's almost like I'm working in a bar. Like I'm spinning the, the toothpaste and slamming it down and boom, hitting the faucet thing on, hitting it off, and, and she's just like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, you broke my teeth. I don't know what you're talking about. And she's like, why do you have to bang everything around? I'm like, I'm just doing nothing. I, I don't know what. And I never realized I did it until like just recently she pointed it out. And now I, that's all I'm aware of. It's just, like a full on Tom Cruise Tom and cocktail, just like spinning things, slamming them on the ground, doing this, kicking things, kicking the door closed over there, opening this. And I, I realize I make so much noise when I'm getting ready for bed. There you go, there's one thing that annoys the hell out of it, too. There you go, so noisy bath, uh, sorry, uh, 
the bedtime routine of brush your teeth. He's noisy at bedtime. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Um, do you call ablutions, Nathan, when you do your bedtime routine? What? Ablutions. Has anyone heard that word before? Ablutions? It's an old English word. It's a real word. Oh, yeah. I, I speak old, old English as a second language. <laughs> no, but we used to say that all the time as kids growing up. My parents would say, children, do your ablutions. What? Yeah, I'm not even joking. I, I was raised that everyone knew that word. So when I said it to, well, my ex-wife now, but when I said it to her for our kids, like, it's time to do our ablutions, she was like, what are you? So what is this word? So you don't know the word? Like, do you, Have you ever no. used the word? No. Am I alone on this? Okay, so Jensen's noisy when he does his ablutions. And I, I do want to say one thing before we get into uh, Jared's answer. I asked my wife, what's a bad habit I have? And I kid you not, her first response back, her first response back was, oh, I can't come see up. It. What is it? I don't know. Try to find it. Try to find it. Saying words incorrectly? <laughs> yeah, saying words incorrectly. She goes, saying words incorrectly just to annoy me, LOL, or phrases. <laughs> and then her second why this is true, I'm constantly eating peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> Because every time she wants to go give me a kiss, I've got peanut butter breath. That's my that's my kryptonite for her. I mean, how could you resist <laughs> this, right? And so my, my kryptonite is the peanut butter breath. Anyways, okay. Yeah. All right. There was a big cheer there. We kind of missed the joke. <laughs> There you go. There's one that you're going to noise the hell out of, too. But I'm not going to stop. Oh, but I'm not going to stop, he says. He goes, but I'm not going to stop. Okay. I have, I have two main things. I'll, I'll, go with, uh, I'll go with when we're at home, uh, for number one, and when we're traveling, for number two. So when we're at home, I leave the doors open, like to outside. If I go outside and take the garbage out or to feed the chickens or to let the dog out or something, which if you live in like Southern California or <laughs> in Central Texas, spiders, tarantulas, everything. <laughs> snakes, snakes. Yeah, snakes, mosquitoes. And also, you know, your air conditioning bill gets a lot more expensive. Um, and then when we're traveling, I guess there are two major things. The main one is that if I go to the gym in the morning and I sweat, so I, I don't, like, I'm not gonna pay Thirty dollars to wash a pair of shorts. So I'll go from the gym to the shower and start showering with my clothes on to wash the sweat off. <laughs> and then I'll take it off and bunch it up in the shower and squeeze it out. And then I'll kind of put the pieces in the bathroom, <laughs> like one over the bath nozzle, one on the side of the bath, because I want them to drop. Because I don't want them to be moldy, you know. And she gets so mad because there'll be like a sock over here, and a sock over there. We could do that to each other. <laughs> no, I know we could. <laughs> I drive you crazy. Lots of stuff. Let's hear what he says, though. Yeah, let's hear what he says. Whenever he comes, <laughs> he knows. Whenever he comes into my trailer, which is often we are, we're often you know we come in and run lines or you know chat about whatever you know talk about what we're doing this weekend. Um, walk up and there's a, a countertop right there and then like a seat on the back side of it and then there's like chairs and stuff over there. He'll walk up, no joke, every time I can step my watch by it, he does this. <laughs> and puts his gum on my counter. Oh, no, that's terrible. That is terrible. Every time. And I'll, I'll walk over and I'll see it and I'll be like, why? He's like, oh, I'm not done with it. Oh, no. Come on. Like, every single time. Like, it's 
he's, it's almost like he, he's like taking his shoes off before he enters someone's house. <laughs> he walks into my trailer and he takes the gum out of his mouth and puts it on my countertop. And then he does. He picks it back up and puts it in his mouth and leaves. And I'm like, we have an infinite supply of gum at craft service. An infinite supply. <laughs> gum tastes better when it's been exposed to oxygen. That is not true. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Smacking makes it taste better. Y'all got something to <laughs> They're all gonna see me go home and go like, all right, let's get it. Okay, I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Jimmy was telling me this story. She was going through customs. She had flown from Austin to, um, to Vancouver. This was years ago. <clears throat> Tom was a baby. And the person in front of her, you know, you go to the counter and you're, here's my passport, here's my declaration, I'm coming here to visit. And she's like, we just had our first kid. And she's looking, and the kid is maybe like four or five years old in front of her. And the kid is like holding on the counter going like this. <laughs> and the poor parents don't see what's going on because they're terrified they're going to be deported or something, so they're like dealing with their passport. Finally, the kid is like trying to pick himself up, and Jim's watching this all go down, like, what is going on? He's a strong kid. So finally, he gives up and pulls a piece of gum. <laughs> and Jim's like, oh god, my sister. <laughs> and then Jim looks at the kid and goes, hey. <laughs> hey, can you make the dirty more down there? It is gross. <laughs> uh, uh. I guess I've I guess I've eaten gum that's been out before. I've eaten it again. I think I have. I'm sure I have throughout my life, but no, I'm I'm kind of with Jensen on that. Once it's done, that's out of your mouth. Good. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll sometimes put it on. Like I'll take my gum out and put it on my desk. Mm -hmm. If I'm, you know, chatting. In fact, I no, Nate. So I no. Right? I have some gum sitting out. No, right you now. don't. Okay. Why <laughs> are we so <laughs> like these two? I don't understand. <laughs> this is gross. You're done. You chew gum. It comes out of your mouth. It's done. You don't get to put it back in. It's done. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see the thing that was in your mouth. Hey, this was you in sure? my mouth for it's, no, it's, no, no. Uh, I'm not looking. There it is. Okay, I have to edit this, and I can't look. Would you stop? <laughs> How am I going to edit this episode? <sighs> it's just waiting for me for when I'm done. But just get another piece. And like and like uh, Jensen was saying, especially for them, they, they have an endless supply of craft services. Endless supply. <laughs> you could literally chew one. And I'm the guy that I I go through gum so fast because I'm a. I'm I'm a fresh gum like chewer, so like I'll eat a piece. The same one I have. Oh yeah. Is it is it sugar free? Trident vibes. Yeah. Hey, look at that. What are, what are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What are the odds? Uh, but unlike you, I will chew this mm -hmm. for ten minutes, and I put another piece mm -hmm. in. And I just like once if it, once the taste has expired, I'm just like I'm good. Mm -hmm. I uh, yeah okay. All right, uh, yeah, we love these guys. That was a fun watch along, of course. So thanks everyone to join us for that. We love their their banter, their friendship, their the the comic cons or whatever they're called. They're sorry, I guess they're not comic cons. They're just supernatural conventions. Um, yeah, they're fun to watch. I guess there's a few out there that we might see throughout uh, throughout our time watching Supernatural. Yeah, no, that's exciting. I. I don't. I never find the time wasted at all when we no. get to watch these. Um, the behind the scenes, obviously, the the episodes are great. Um, yeah, I I quite enjoy it. Do I have a bad habit? No. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh well, no. I was trying. I was trying to think of what they. What is like a pet peeve? I don't know if I have a pet peeve. I know you have pet peeves about me. I can't think of any though. Yeah, you don't like it when I say, you know what I mean. 
No, I don't think that's a real pet peeve. Though. I don't think about it. I don't think about that much. When I just I edited it out. How many, uh, no. how many, how many unseen uh, emails I have? Or- oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll end with this one. Nathan, I can't, I can't believe it. Here's a, so here you go, folks. Here's my phone. I don't know if you can see my phone here. There's my email app right here, right? Look at that. Okay, this over here is the YouTube app. That's kind of stressing me out a little bit, all right? This Patreon app, it always sits at one, I'm not sure. But look at all the apps. Blank. Blank. No red. No notifications. Nathan's email app, I think it's maxed out at 9999, right? No, it's not maxed out. Oh, what is it at? Come on, come and focus. What are you, 29,000? What is that even? That is even, what do you do with that? What do you do with that? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It doesn't even make sense. Are you just going for 100000 Are you just going to see what happens to the phone when it hits 99999? Yeah, sure. Why not? But, but why Why have the Why have the number? What does that mean to you? It's just stupid. It doesn't... I'd like to know when I've got a new message. Do you memorize? Oh, last time I had 29,153 and I got two new messages now. Oh... Christina well, Christine, knows my struggle. Well, no, it's my struggle. Not I know really you're struggle. fine with it. It's you, not. It's my struggle. It doesn't bother me at all. Well, I know. Well, well, obviously, I hope it doesn't. I don't know why you <laughs> self-inflict yourself with that. I love that it bothers you, though. That's, it's that's it's insane. The why I keep it. Oh come on! <laughs> How? How's this possible? What are you doing, people? How's you that might, possible? You, do, you might be the weird one here, Ryan. I'm sorry. What? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay me and melissa me and melissa that's it i'm not well liked that's true maybe i'm not well liked other <laughs> this is uh that's okay that's reasonable but you got to step on that nina but the thing is guys be like ryan because then you just know, look at look how nice and clean that is and there's no red no like i get i because I, I take care of it especially in our business of our channel i got to take care of these things i got to say hey Got a message. I got to take care of it. Anyways, all right. I just can't. I just can't imagine wasting that much time going through my email. Oh, we've talked about this wasty. Here we go. Here we go with the wasty time. Okay, I'm not. This is how much you, time to waste. waste. Time. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's let's do a role play. Role play. Here we go. Role play. Going about my day. Do do do. I'm on my computer. Ding. <laughs> Read. I don't care about this one. Delete phone down oh where did my day go <laughs> i don't i don't look at my phone that often that's the other thing so i'll get like in a day oh here we go i don't look at my phone that often <laughs> maybe 50 emails you know from various wherevers and so i i, I when i look at them like oh there's a bunch of emails that don't maybe matter. you're signed on the too many sure things too much junk emails. mail if it's a good email i'll look i'll read it but i don't delete it afterwards because i might have to go back and look that email up yeah, that's why I look. Not for me. Trash gone. Oh, I've got to action that. Okay, copy that. I'll action that. And then what I do is I go back to my emails. Like, oh, I've still got. It. Okay, yeah. And that's that's what I love about Gmail. Received six days ago. Would you like to reply? I'm like, oh no, I just had to read it, so I'll delete it. Anyways, mm-hmm. all right, guys, we appreciate it, everyone. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. Bye, everyone. See you on the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.